all of you i hope i am clearly visible audible so i will start the lecture ahead give me a second so i can confirm if i am clearly visible or audible yes or not one more second just a second let me confirm so yes i hope it is working so i welcome you all for today's session a very good morning to all of you i am dr priyanka sachdev here and today i am going to teach you a topic from systemic pathology that is that is hepatitis from liver from liver i am going to teach you hepatitis it is a very important topic and difficult to understand so most of the students find this topic very difficult so the histology of the various type of hepatitis that is acute chronic and fulminant and the clinical features and serology of various type of hepatitis so we will cover both serology as well as histology of various type of hepatitis so let me move on hepatitis you have to give me a minute so i can directly jump on the slide having hepatitis so in the last lecture i have already explained you the normal anatomy and histology of a normal liver so today i am going to start with the diseases that is hepatitis so my disease for today is hepatitis so there are five type of hepatitis caused by five type of viruses so hepatitis a hepatitis b hepatitis c hepatitis d and hepatitis e they all are caused by viruses not by bacteria not by fungus not by parasites so hepatitis a is caused by hepatitis a virus hav b is caused by hepatitis b virus c is caused by hepatitis c virus d by d and e by e so there are five viruses causing five type of hepatitis the five different viruses are there so before starting the chapter hepatitis let me tell you few important points about the hepatitis so histologically hepatitis or clinically hepatitis are of three types acute chronic and fulminant you can understand the meaning of the acute it is sudden it is sudden onset chronic is gradual gradual it's chronic and fulminant is the most severe form of acute in which mortality is very high most of the persons die if fulminant occurs it is the most severe form of acute now point to teach you here is what just a minute so in the five type of hepatitis who causes acute who causes chronic and who causes fulminant that is the point right so my point to explain you is that all causes acute acute can be caused by all of them since acute can be called caused by all of them so fulminant also can be caused by all of them because fulminant is nothing it is the most severe form of acute right what about chronic a and e do not cause chronic a and e do not cause chronic b c d mein chronic hota hai chronic state occurs only in b c d not in a not in e right chronicity leads to three things what are the three things chronicity can lead to carrier state chronicity can lead to cirrhosis and chronicity can lead to hepatocellular carcinoma so these three things are also occurring in bcd not a and e so you can say chronic state carrier state cirrhosis and hepatocellular carcinoma these all four things occur in b c and d not in a not in e that is my first point to explain you have you got it have you got it the second point you have to understand the five type of hepatitis well what is the root of uh, spreading how they spread from one person to another so a and e spread by fecal oral route and fecal oral route but b c d spread by three other routes number 1 either they spread by sexual route or they spread by parenteral route parenteral parenteral route or they spread by vertical route vertical what do you mean by that i would like to draw a diagram so can you see this is a person and this is another person this is another person so the first person is having hepatitis a or e either a or e let's talk about a and e first a and e so this person will shed hepatitis a and e virus in the stools the hepatitis a and e virus is shedded in the stools of this person and the stools will contaminate food and water the contaminated food and water is consumed by another person and he will also have either hepatitis a or e respectively so this route is known as fecal oral route so from the feces of one person to the oral cavity of another person through contaminated food and water this is how a and e spread fecal oral route right that is fecal so by taking proper hygiene of the food and drinking water we can uh, prevent its spread right so that is the first a or e ka spread what about bcd bcd so again let me draw the two persons this is the first person and this is the another person this is the another person right now this time the first person is having either hepatitis b or c or d bhi le lo theek hai mainly b or c hai b c or d so how it spread from one person to another so it spread by three routes number one the sexual contact between the two persons sexual contact 
so it spreads sexually it is a sexual contact from one person to another it can spread number one number two if the first uh, 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 patient is a female and she is pregnant in the uterus she is having a fetus so this is a fetus inside the lady so it can spread by a placenta from placenta from mother to fetus so this root from placenta it is known as vertical vertical root vertical or trans placental trans placental via placenta it is spreading from mother to the fetus that is vertical root and the third root via which it can spread from one person to another is parenteral parenteral what do you mean by parenteral root if someone is using syringes needle syringes or any blood products in one person and without sterilization the same needle same syringe same blood product is applied on the another person so through this contaminated needle through the contaminated syringe or any blood product it spread from one person to another this root is known as parenteral so it is not fecoral sexual parenteral or vertical these are the three roots which are present in uh, hepatitis b c d so that is the general about hepatitis a b c d e who causes acute who causes chronic who causes cirrhosis carrier hepatocellular carcinoma fulminant what is the root of their spread so as i have told you it is caused by five viruses it is caused by five viruses hepatitis a virus b virus c virus d virus and e virus so viruses are of two types dna viruses and rna viruses so in panchon mein se kaun dna hai kaun rna hai so in panchon mein se if you talk about only b hepatitis b is dna virus rest all are rna 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 rest all are rna viruses except hepatitis b which is a dna virus so please learn this hepatitis b yahan pe alag ho jayega so see this table most of the points in this table i have already explained you okay let me read this table and come on the details many questions asked from these basics so what are the basics here you can see the five type of hepatitis hepatitis a hepatitis b hepatitis c hepatitis d and hepatitis e so these are the viruses which is causing these hepatitis a b c d e respectively you can see hepatitis a virus only b is dna and rest all are rna 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 is pe bahut question aata hai is pe bahut question aata hai what else you have to learn their families in sabki family mein bataungi aage what else you have to learn is the root a and e spread by fecoral root c fecoral and b c d either by close contact means sexual root or parenteral sexual parenteral sexual parenteral or yahan pe vertical nahi likha hai transparental you can write that also the next point which you have to learn is their incubation period many questions come on their incubation period you have to learn their incubation period right the next is chronicity what about chronicity i have already told you chronicity so chronicity is absent chronic chronic hepatitis is absent in a and e it is present in b c d b c d mein chronicity present hai to carrier bhi present hai और कैरियर प्रेजेंट है तो हेपेटोसेलुलर कार्सिनोमा और सिरोसिस भी प्रेजेंट है कैरियर हेपेटोसेलुलर कार्सिनोमा सिरोसिस ऑल एब्सेंट इन ए एंड ई सो दीस आर द पॉइंट्स व्हिच आई हैव ऑलरेडी एक्सप्लेनड यू व्हाट अबाउट एंटीजन एंटीबॉडीज आई विल एक्सप्लेन यू इन डिटेल वन बाय वन सो लेट मी टॉक अबाउट द फाइव टाइप ऑफ हेपेटाइटिस टुडे सो लेट मी स्टार्ट विद द सो एज आई हैव टोल्ड यू ओनली हेपेटाइटिस बी इज डीएनए रेस्ट ऑल आर आरएनए इस पे बहुत कॉमनली एमसीक्यू रिपीट होता है इन योर एग्जाम ओके सो एज आई हैव टोल्ड यू देयर आर फाइव वायरसेस कैन यू सी द फाइव वायरसेस so these are the name of the five viruses hepatitis a virus b virus c virus d virus e virus so tell me their family hepatitis a virus belong to enterovirus or picorna virus family enterovirus 72 or picorna virus one and the same thing enterovirus or picorna mein main family hai usme sub family entero hai right hepatitis b belong to hepadna virus family hepatitis c belong to hep c virus or flevi virus d belongs to virioids or defective or e belongs to calci virus or alpha virus तो प्लीज लर्न देयर फैमिलीज इस पे भी क्वेश्चन आता है फैमिली ऑफ द फाइव हेपेटाइटिस व्हाट इज देयर फैमिली इनक्यूबेशन पीरियड यू हैव टू लर्न एंड रूट यू हैव टू लर्न रूट फर्स्ट एंड लास्ट इज फिकोरल ये सेक्सुअल गलती से हटा दो द फर्स्ट ए एंड ई इज फिकोरल रेस्ट आर सेक्सुअल पेरीनाटल एंड परक्यूटेनियस परक्यूटेनियस और पेरेंटल राइट सो दैट इज द थिंग सो लेट मी स्टार्ट द फाइव टाइप ऑफ हेपेटाइटिस वन बाय वन let me start the most detail i will tell you is of b b sabse detail mein main batane wali hu so let me start with the first hepatitis hepatitis a are you people there you have to learn a lot today it is a difficult topic so i hope i will be able to explain you all the concepts related here give me a minute okay okay so hepatitis a virus as i have told you hepatitis a virus is a rna virus belong to picornavirus family 
mode of infection is pico oral you can understand what is pico oral incubation period you already know you have to learn it clinical features it causes only acute no chronic it does not causes chronic it does not causes carrier it does not causes cirrhosis it does not causes hepatocellular carcinoma it causes only acute rather since it causes only acute it is the most common cause of acute hepatitis in children most common cause of acute hepatitis in children so in children 95 percent of the children will be will have subclinical infection and only five percent will have joined this in adults nearly 25 percent will be subclinical and 90 percent have joined this. so that is the difference you can see but complete recovery occurs in all whether the children or adult complete recovery occur it is the acute hepatitis what are the markers just suppose there is a patient in front of you the patient is a child the patient is a child he is a child the patient he is coming to your clinic with the parents and the parents are complaining my child is having joinders doctor isko pilia ho gaya hai see the eyes are yellow the skin is yellow so my child is having joinders right what is the cause of the joinders now joinders is not a disease joinders is a symptom right so like fever joinders is a symptom now if if the if, if anyone is having fever you have to see the cause of the fever where the cause of the fever is typhoid where it is malaria where it is dengue or where whether it is covid so whatever is the cause you have to treat the cause but temporarily you give paracetamol to subside it in the same way joinders is a symptom it always indicate there is some underlying disease so what is the cause of the joinders so in joinders is occurring in a child the most common cause can be hepatitis a hepatitis a bachcho mein hepatitis a hoga via pico oral route so it can be hepatitis a virus a virus via pico oral route that is the most common cause of acute hepatitis in a child so you are suspecting this child is having hepatitis a so what investigations you will offer to confirm your diagnosis so can you can start the treatment of this child what investigations you will order you will ask this the parents to give blood sample of this child in the laboratory go to the laboratory and give the blood sample what does the blood contain blood contains two things number one the virus khud virus present hoga blood mein kaun sa virus hepatitis a virus so you can do the test for hepatitis a virus or body is forming antibodies against the virus so two type of antibodies are present two types of antibodies are present igg and igm if the igm if the infection is acute it is igm and if the infection is you know past infection it is igg so antigen and antibody two things will be present in the blood in the blood in the blood you can test or as i have told you the virus is shed in the stools also you can take stool sample also so take a container collect the stool sample in that and look for antigen only hepatitis a virus only stool do not have antibodies so in short you can take two samples they are in front of you you can test the blood for antigen as well as antibody and you can test the stool only for antigen not for antibody that is the test you can perform for confirming your diagnosis so these are known as markers of hepatitis a so what are the markers of hepatitis a you can search for hiv virus in the stool and in the blood in the stool and in the blood both virus is present and antibodies igm and igg both of them present only in blood not in stool you can see the best diagram here the red color is the virus you can see this is the virus virus is coming becoming peak and then going down going down becoming zero again and you can see the two type of antibodies can you see purple and blue color with the purple color you can see igm it is coming becoming peak and again down so igm igm acute phase hai lekin chronic phase the blue one it will remain forever it will remain forever that is igg antibody not chronic it is the past infection so just suppose i am having a child in front of me and if i if i am testing the blood sample of this child in a test tube so i am finding only igg antibody no igm no hiv virus virus khud bhi nahi hai aur igm bhi nahi hai only igg hai so it is it doesn't mean the child is currently having hepatitis a infection it is the past hepatitis a infection because igg remain in blood forever forever once it is infection is there so these are the markers you can see so hepatitis a me sirf itna hi important hai sirf itna hi important hai it causes only acute no chronic it causes it is the most common cause of acute in children it do not cause chronic no carrier state no cirrhosis no hepatocellular carcinoma and what are the markers three markers one virus and two antibody virus is present in both blood plus stool but antibodies are present only in blood obviously two do not have antibodies 
and you know the relevance of the two type of antibodies let me come on the second hepatitis hepatitis b very difficult to understand huh so let me come on the second type of hepatitis that is hepatitis b virus hepatitis b virus pe aa jate hain just a second so let me come on hepatitis b virus it is difficult to understand for understanding hepatitis b virus i have to explain you the diagram of hepatitis b virus see can you see a virus of course you all can see a virus can you see hepatitis b virus is double stranded dna this is the nucleic acid of the virus it is dna not rna so this is the nucleic acid nucleic acid is surrounded by nuclear membrane and this is the capsid you can see capsid and outermost is the envelope this is the envelope so can you understand the diagram on the diagram three antigens rehan please understand it very carefully what is difficult three antigens are present what is the name of these antigens the first antigen is present on the surface it is known as surface s antigen s for surface so hepatitis s antigen s for surface right the second is e e for envelope because it is present on envelope it is present on envelope so second is e e for envelope s for surface because it is present on outer surface e for envelope it is present on envelope and the third is c c is core core antigen it is present inside inside that is known as core so three antigens are present in this virus have you got it what are the three antigens now imagine a situation this virus is present inside the blood vessel of a person this is the blood vessel lined by endothelial lining and this virus has entered inside the blood vessel of the person either sexually or parenterally or vertically there are three routes so the virus is already inside the blood of this person now when this virus will go inside the blood of this person three out of these two antigen will dissolve and they will come in the blood which two s will dissolve and come in the blood e will also dissolve and come in the blood but c do not dissolve it is insoluble it will not come in blood it will remain inside the virus only give me a thumbs up if you got it c will not come in blood in blood you cannot find c c is present inside the virus but if you take the blood sample of this person in a test tube so you can find s you can find e but you cannot find c because c cannot dissolve have you got it okay you got it so you get two antigens in the blood not the third one third one is the insoluble core one kyunki wo andar hai it is insoluble okay baki two are present outside so they are soluble okay my next point to explain here body will form antibodies against all these three antigen so body will form antibodies against s that is known as anti hepatitis s antibody right body will form antibody against e also that is known as anti anti hepatitis e antibody right for this also and for c also antibody is formed c is not coming in blood lekin antibody to uske against bhi banegi so c ke against two antibodies are formed igm and igg both of them are anti hepatitis c antibody so antibody total kitni badi bani for s one antibody anti s e anti e but for c two are there m and g anti c are two type igm or igg so total four antibodies so three antigens with four antibodies out of the three antigen only two are coming in the blood in the blood now finally if you take the blood sample of this person see this is the test tube in the test tube this is the blood of this person so this blood contain how many antigen and how many antibody so rehan how many antigen only two antigen the third one is not present four is not coming in the blood but four antibodies antibodies are four one for s one for e and two for c kyunki wo khud antigen nahi aa raha to uske antibody do hain learn like this because c cannot come itself the antigen cannot come in the blood so it is having two antibodies give me a thumbs up give me a thumbs up so two antibodies so two antigen and four antibodies total six markers are there so you have to look for six markers in the blood have you got it see the antibodies in this diagram i have written the antibodies you can see hepatitis s antigen ke liye anti hepatitis s antibody hepatitis e antigen ke liye anti hepatitis e antibody aur hepatitis c antigen ke liye anti hepatitis c antibody which are of two type igm and igg please learn it so total four antibodies with three antigen but one will not come in the blood so only two antigen will come in the blood now the next question what is the sequence of their arrival in the blood what is the sequence of their arrival in the blood so first of course as soon as this is the blood vessel of a person when the virus will enter first the antigen will dissolve and come in the blood and then body will form antibody so what is the final sequence so this is the final sequence you can see okay i will write it down first okay so first hepatitis s antigen will come s antigen aur s ke baad e will come c to aata nahi hai so write down hepatitis s antigen and hepatitis e antigen hb s antigen or hb e antigen this is the sequence 
along with hbe antigen dna will also come at the same time dna will dissolve and come in the blood you can see the diagram s is dissolving you see this diagram s is dissolving coming in the blood e is dissolving coming in the blood along with e dna also dissolve and come in the blood e or dna saath mein aate hain but c do not come in the blood have you got it c do not come in the blood c do not come in the blood so okay so okay just a second so first what is coming what is coming first s antigen then e antigen so hepatitis s antigen then hepatitis e antigen along with dna it is coming in the blood now antibodies will be formed so c to aata nahi hai c antigen is not coming so antibody of c come the first the first antibody to be come is c so c ke antibody sabse pehle aayegi c itself antigen is not coming so c ki antibody anti hepatitis c antibody will come first now which type it is of two type na so first igm will come igm will come igg baad mein aayegi igg baad mein aayegi igg bhi aayegi hepatitis c ki antibody igg will also come later on lekin dono ke beech mein aayegi e e ki antibody e so e ki antibody dono ke beech mein aayegi so antibody aur last mein aayegi the first antigen uski antibody last hai so hepatitis s ki antibody sabse last aayegi सबसे लास्ट आएगी हेपेटाइटिस एस की एंटीबॉडी गिव मी अ थम्स अप सो दीस आर द फोर एंटीबॉडीज इन फ्रंट ऑफ यू सो टू एंटीजन एंड फोर एंटीबॉडीज टोटल सिक्स मार्कर्स आर देयर टू एंटीजन विल कम एंड फोर एंटीबॉडीज विल कम इन द ब्लड वन बाय वन सो दिस इज द कंप्लीट सीक्वेंस यू कैन सी वन बाय वन दे आर कमिंग गिव मी अ थम्स अप इफ यू गॉट इट सो व्हाट इज द फर्स्ट एंटीजन टू कम एस व्हाट इज द नेक्स्ट एंटीजन टू कम ई अलोंग विद डीएनए राइट सो एंटीजेंस आर ओवर नो एंटीबॉडी एंटीबॉडी इज फर्स्ट ऑफ सी then e then again c then s so what is the final sequence you can learn of antigen and antibody say what you will learn how you will learn so antigen s s then antigen e then talk about antibodies ye antigen ho gaye okay e ke sath you can write dna always always remember now then come on antibodies antibody means c then e then again c then s so you should make a mnemonic ye do do c hai because one is igm and one is igg first igm then igb have you got it have you got it azra khushboo rehan it is a difficult concept i am trying hard to explain you please learn the sequence of antigens and antibody here so you should learn these are antigen i am talking about and you should learn these are antibodies i am talking about antibodies i am talking about so see same thing i have written here please everyone see the sequence appreciate the sequence so first is s then e e along with dna so that is antigen now come on antibody antibody is c e c s c e c 2 c first c is igm then igg now if this concept is clear to you nishi if concept this this concept is clear to you I mean sequence the first question was the sequence pehla question tha how many antigen and antibodies so you should appreciate there are three antigen and four antibodies okay the final diagram i would like to draw here the final diagram i would so can you see this is the double stranded dna this is the nuclear membrane this is the capsid and this is the envelope this is the diagram this is known as dane particle of the hepatitis b virus right now how many antigens are present one antigen on the surface because surface ka s hai it is present on outer surface hepatitis s antigen the second antigen on the envelope e for envelope so it is known as hepatitis e antigen e and the third is inside inside the virus c for core core mein present hai so hepatitis c antigen so three antigens are present on the virus out of these three antigen this one is soluble if this is a blood vessel just suppose this is a blood vessel of a patient having hepatitis b infection so virus has entered the blood how either sexually or parenterally by via infected needles or vertically via the placenta so in this person blood vessel the virus is present so this s will dissolve and come in the blood e will also dissolve and come in the blood c is insoluble it will not come in the blood so in the blood you will get only two antigen if i take withdraw the blood sample in a test tube this is a test tube and i am taking the blood of this person so out of the three antigen in the blood i will find two i will find s and e i will not find c antigen because it is insoluble pehli reason right now body will form antibodies against all of them one by one so antibody against s is known as anti hbs antibody okay ye combination ho gaya antibody against e is known as anti hbe antibody ye ek pair ho gaya and antibody to iske against bhi banegi although it is not coming in blood but antibody iske against bhi banegi so antibody against this is known as anti hepatitis c antibody it is of two type 
सिंस एंटीजन नहीं आ रहा ना तो एंटीबॉडी दो टाइप की है यू कैन लर्न लाइक दैट टू कॉम्पनसेट तो आई जी एम एंड आई जी जी सो टू एंटीजन तो इन दिस ब्लड सैंपल आई एम गेटिंग टू एंटीजन एंड इन द सेम ब्लड सैंपल आई एम गेटिंग फोर एंटीबॉडीज वन ऑफ एस वन ऑफ ई एंड टू ऑफ सी सो टोटल सिक्स मार्कर इन द ब्लड दीज आर नोन एज हिपेटाइटिस एस मार्कर सो शेड आई रिमूव दिस डायग्राम एवरी वन निशी रिहान अर्जा खुशबू एनी वन एल्स गिव मी थम्स अप एवरी वन सो हैव यू अंडरस्टूड द एंटीजन एंटीबॉडी कॉन्सेप्ट नो देर आर टू क्वेश्चन यू हैव टू अंडरस्टैंड हियर number 1 what is the sequence i have already told you the sequence and what is the significance of each of them okay so let's talk about the significance so ye question hua antigen antibody this is the sequence you can see this is the sequence so about the sequence i have already told you first antigen will come then antibody will come so antigen mein sabse pehle s aayega fir e aayega e ke sath dna bhi dissolve ho ke aayega viral dna so these are the antigen about antibody i have told you c c ki antibody sabse pehle aayegi uske baad E आएगा E की एंटीबॉडी फिर C की एंड देन लास्ट में S सो S इज द एंटीजन फर्स्ट टू कम बट इट्स एंटीबॉडी इज लास्ट टू कम सो द निमोनिक इज S E C E C S S E C E C S दीज आर द एंटीजन एंड दीज फोर आर द एंटीबॉडीज C इज ट्वाइस सो फर्स्ट C इज आई जी एम एंड नेक्स्ट इज आई जी जी राइट नो लेट मी टेल यू द सिग्निफिकेंस ऑफ ऑल ऑफ दैम माई नेक्स्ट पॉइंट जिसपे मैक्सिम एम सी क्यूज आते हैं सिग्निफिकेंस ओके If you are taking the blood sample of a person, this is the test tube. Now, all of them cannot be present together. Either antigen will present or its antibody. Antigen antibody cannot be present together, right? So in the blood, let's talk about one by one. Let's talk about S. If S antigen is present in this blood, so antibody will be absent. S ki antibody nahi hogi. Or antibody is present, so antigen will be absent. So let's talk about S ka antigen antibody. S ka antigen is present, it is indicating infection. now i don't know whether the infection is acute or chronic but the person is having infection right now if s antigen is present agar is blood mein s ka antigen hai means person is having infection right now this person jiska ye blood hai that person is having infection right now either acute or chronic i don't know but person is infection and if antigen is not there but s ki antibody is there so it indicates recovery the person is already recovered the infection was in the past and now s ka antigen is gone and antibody is there so it is indicating recovery the titer is important yes the antibody 10 hai ki 100 hai ki 1000 hai it's important because it is a protective antibody it is protective it is protective in nature for the future infection and it is indicating protective nature and uh, recovery and vaccination once you are vaccinated for hepatitis b your blood contains hepatitis s antibody so if you check my blood i am vaccinated so if you check if you take my blood you will find hepatitis s antibody in that not antigen but the antibody because in the vaccine we give the dead virus so dead virus mein antigen s hai lekin that is dead that is killed so antigen nahi lekin my body will form antibodies against it so that when natural virus is coming i am already having the antibody the protection so it indicates recovery protection vaccination whatever you say that is sk antibody ka significance so s is done if s antigen is present it indicates infection if s antibody is present it indicates recovery it indicates protect protection it the person is protected and it indicates vaccination more is the titer more is the protection give me a thumbs up let's talk about e now both will never present together either antigen will have or antibody either the person have infection or the person is recovered both cannot occur together right both are opposite right let's talk about e either e ka antigen is present or e ki antibody is present again they never present together right as i told you hepatitis spread from one person to another via via three routes so let me draw a person small person here can you see a person chalo upar banate hain so let me draw a person here and let me draw another person here just suppose the first person is hepatitis b virus having hepatitis so via sexual contact it can spread to another person sexual contact or via blood products blood products syringes that is parenteral route it can spread to another one. so what is infectivity it is not infection please understand the term isko infection hai this this person is having infection and the spreading of infection from one person to another the term is known as infectivity infectivity so hepatitis s antigen was was representing infection if you test the blood of the first person he is having hepatitis s antigen inside it because he is currently having the infection what about infectivity whether the infection will spread from this person to another person if sexual contact between the two person is there so that is infectivity infectivity kitni hai so infectivity is indicated by e e indicates infectivity so if e antigen is present infectivity is more and if e antibody is present infectivity is less but infectivity is always there so any person having hepatitis 
should abstain from sexual intercourse with any other personal person or uh, sexual partner for the treatment part until he is or she is already treated give me a thumbs up infectivity low or high but already it is there e antigen indicates high infectivity and e antibody indicates low infectivity infection nahi mind my words infectivity 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 is the ability to infect another person it is the capability to infect another person give me a thumbs up give me a thumbs up have you got it have you got it that is the significance of e dna what about dna dna is also indicating infectivity so e and dna they come together and both of them indicate infectivity not infection please mind my words infectivity hai ye ye infection tha ye infectivity hai so e indicates qualitative infectivity and dna is quantitative infectivity so dna is a better marker for infectivity but dna is costly so we cannot perform dna in every person so we perform antigen e and antibody e if antigen e is present the person is highly infective so isolate the person and uh, uh, avoid the sexual contact uh, ask the person don't do a sexual contact with the partner and don't give any blood products and avoid to use the same syringe or blood products of that person right so take care for that person in this way and antibody is present the low infectivity is present so that is infectivity let's talk about c ab c ka antigen to nahi hai only antibody is there so c ki we are having two antibodies what two antibodies igm and igg the two antibodies igm indicates recent infection or acute infection one and the same thing and igg indicates past infection or chronic infection one and the same thing s was indicating only infection s was not telling us whether acute or chronic so acute hai ki chronic hai wo pata karne ke liye c ki antibody dekhni padegi have you got it the significance of all of them give me a thumbs up so in your blood in the blood sample of a person you have to see the complete profile this is known as serological markers right serological markers so the same thing is written in front of you you can see the sequence the first is hepatitis s antigen then hepatitis e antigen along with dna and dna polymerase then antibodies antibodies mein pehle c ki aayegi igm fir e ki aayegi then again c ki aayegi igg aur last aayegi s ki give me a thumbs up give me a thumbs up so that is the complete thing i have written in front of you now there are patient 1 patient 2 patient 3 patient 4 patient 5 patient 6 6 patients in front of you they are sitting one by one all of having their report in their hand doctor this is my profile my profile my profile my profile my hepatitis b profile so please tell me the interpretation what i am having so see the profile of the first patient let me mark okay this is the profile of the first patient this is the profile you now read the profile and tell me the diagnosis so this is antigen this is not antigen let me correct this is antibody this is antigen ye galti se likha hai ye antibody hai aur ye bhi antibody hai ye antibody hai. now read the profile you read the profile and tell me the diagnosis okay i will read it for you hepatitis s antigen is present so of course antibody is absent dono nahi ho sakte e antigen is present antibody is absent dono nahi ho sakte and from c igm is present so you tell me s antigen is present the person is having infection which infection acute ki chronic m is present so it is acute so acute infection is there what about e antigen is present antibody is absent so high infectivity so person is having acute hepatitis b virus infection of high infectivity that is the diagnosis give me a thumbs up now many good clinical mcqs come on these profile which i have simplified for you give me a thumbs up see the profile of the second person can you see the profile of the second person see this profile see this one so this patient ki report is in your hand you are a doctor you have to interpret the report and explain to the patient so you have to explain to the patient you have s antigen but antibody is negative that means you have infection you have infection antigen is present antibody is absent you have infection so patient will ask doctor which infection acute ki chronic so see it is igm again it is acute so it is acute infection acute now what about this so here e ki antigen is absent but antibody is present so it is of low infectivity so acute infection again but low infectivity first acute infection high infectivity tha ab acute infection low infectivity hai now see the profile of the third patient see the profile of the third and the fourth together ye third ho gaya ye fourth ho gaya third or fourth patient dekhte hain again in both of them s antigen is present antibody is absent to so infection to hai hai na infection is there because antigen is present antibody is absent which infection acute ki chronic so see igm ki igg both of them are chronic so both of them have chronic infection chronic infection now c i h e ka profile in the first patient antigen e is present in the second antibody e is present so one is high infectivity one is of low infectivity give me a thumbs up give me a thumbs up see the fifth patient 
फिफ्थ पेशेंट स्पेसिफिकली वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट फिफ्थ पेशेंट ये वाला देखो फिफ्थ पेशेंट फिफ्थ पेशेंट में यू आर फाइंडिंग अमंग एस एस की बात करो तो एस एंटीजन इज एबसेंट तो पर्सन इज हैविंग नो इन्फेक्शन नो इन्फेक्शन पर्सन इज हैविंग नो इन्फेक्शन एस एंटीजन इज एबसेंट सो एंटीबॉडी इज प्रेजेंट सो रिकवरी नो रिकवरी है रिकवरी है सो रिकवरी है एंड आई जी जी आई जी जी इज फॉर एवर so infection was in the past and now igg is forever so it is the recovery see the last one if you check my blood you will find this if you check your blood you, we will find this it is only this one is positive only this is positive rest all are negative so only hepatitis s antibody is positive that is immunized or vaccinated give me a thumbs up you can't imagine ye sare question kitne zyada various exam mein with a clinical scenario present hote hain big big question half of page question so a 35 year middle aged person coming to a opd with complaints of fever jaundice right uh, and lethargy fatigue from last few weeks so you have done this 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 ultimately you have done the hepatitis profile and this is the koi bhi patient ka de denge what is your diagnosis so the four options are there so you have to approach like this give me a thumbs up everyone do you have any doubt please ask it specifically everyone please ask specifically so e indicate so that is the same thing written in theory e indicate high infectivity antigen और ई की एंटीबॉडी इंडिकेट लो इन्फेक्टिविटी दैट इज अबाउट ई ई का हो गया एंटीजन एंटीबॉडी दैट इज रिलेटेड टू इन्फेक्टिविटी राइट एस एस की एंटीबॉडी इज प्रोटेक्टिव इन नेचर एंड वैक्सीनेशन एंड इम्यूनिटी इम्यूनिटी वैक्सीनेशन प्रोटेक्शन राइट मोड मैंने पहले ही बता दिए देर आर थ्री मोड्स पैरेंट्रल वाया ब्लड प्रोडक्ट निडल सेक्शुअल कॉन्टेक्ट एंड वर्टिकल वर्टिकल इज फ्रॉम मदर टू द फीचर्स वाया प्लेसेंटा राइट इंक्यूबेशन पीरियड यू ऑल नो यू ऑल नो राइट This virus do not come in stools like HIV. It will present in blood only. It will not come in stools. Now, what it will cause? It will cause acute also. It will cause chronic also. It will cause fulminant also. The most severe form of acute is known as fulminant. It will cause chronic also. Chronic will lead to carrier state. It will lead to hepatocellular carcinoma and cirrhosis. It causes everything. So this is the table. So I have already told you there are five type of hepatitis. Hepatitis A, B, C, D, E. Please learn the concept very clearly. Acute, chronic, and fulminant. There are three type of hepatitis. A and E do not cause chronic. Acute is caused by all of them. All of them causes acute. All of them causes fulminant also. Because fulminant is the most severe form of acute. Because acute is present in all, so fulminant is also present in all. Right. But chronic is absent in A and E. So B, C, D can cause chronic. A and E do not cause chronic. Chronic leads to cirrhosis. So cirrhosis also present in B, C, D only. cirrhosis can lead to hepatocellular carcinoma it is also present only in bcd and carrier state chronic leads to carrier state it is also present in bcd so a and e may all these things are absent what four things chronicity cirrhosis hepatocellular carcinoma and carrier state these are present in a and uh, bcd not in a and e acute and fulminant although present in all but see here most common cause of acute in children is a most common cause of acute in adults is e adults is e and most common cause of fulminant is e in pregnant ladies especially so give me a thumbs up ye most common ho gaya you will ask me chronic ka most common kya hai chronic ka most common so it is variable i will tell you the percentage ye samajhne ke liye main percentage bata rahi hu actually most common chronicity c mein hogi most common c mein hogi so about the acute most common among children is a most common among adults is e and chronic most common is in c That is a, and fulminant most common in e, especially in pregnant ladies. So these are all your MCQs, man. Right? So see here, if any person is having hepatitis B, hepatitis B की बात चल रही है अभी. B चीज़ सिखा रही हूँ मैं. B. So 65 percent will be subclinical disease. उनको पता ही नहीं चलेगा hepatitis B आके चला गया. 25 percent will have acute disease, and only 5 percent or 10 percent will have chronic. So chronicity का percentage याद रखो. Only chronic is bad. because chronic will lead to three things number one carrier number two cirrhosis and number three hepatocellular carcinoma you can see cirrhosis hepatocellular carcinoma which ultimately leads to death right so it is bad so 5 to 10% have a bad prognosis but remaining all is good they recover most of them recover acute may say less than one will convert into fulminant the most severe form of acute give me a thumbs up now these percentages percentages are important so do you want me to launch the polls would you like to write answers about hepatitis b b is done okay This is the first question. Now read the question carefully. Don't rush. Tell me what is the correct answer. The question is in front of you. First antibody to occur in the blood. Antibody. I'm not asking antigen. Antibody means the first antigen. You know the sequence, na? So if you ask first antigen is S, then second antigen is E plus DNA. That is about antigen. What about antibody? Antibody. 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 Antibody.
वर्ड ऑफ फर्स्ट एंटीबॉडी टू कम राइट योर आंसर एंटीबॉडीज में से कौन आता है देर आर फोर एंटीबॉडीज वन बाय वन दे वेल कम सो वर्ड ऑफ फर्स्ट एंटीबॉडी सो निशी यू आर सेइंग सी व्हाट अबाउट अदर्स व्हाट अबाउट अदर्स इट इज सी ई सी एंड एस दिस इज द सीक्वेंस सो फर्स्ट एंटीबॉडी इज सी बट विद सी सी भी दो होते हैं ना तो कौन सा सी आएगा सो इट इज आईजीएम देन आईजीजी सो इट इज आईजीएम एंड टीएचबीसी यस रेहान निशी यू आर राइट सो करेक्ट आंसर हियर इज सी दैट इज हाउ यू हैव टू अप्रोच योर क्वेश्चंस हियर राइट so this is the next question in front of you recent hepatitis is best diagnosed by i am asking recent recent ka indicator kon hai it is hbs antigen igg anti hbe ye to option hi galat hai e ka igg hota hi nahi hai c ke hote hain igg aur m right s ka antibody s ki antibody ya c ki igm so what is your correct answer what is your correct answer recent recent means acute acute infection or recent infection ye kon batata hai who will tell the acute or recent infection who will tell from the options so rehan nishi you are saying d very good you both are right yes so igm of hbc this is a recent infection recent and if i say only infection not the acute and chronic not recent and past so answer will be hbs antigen it will tell infection not acute or chronic but acute and chronic separately told by igm and igg have you got it yes you are right so correct answer here is d now okay this question is difficult okay okay uh, yeah this question this question is difficult so don't rush anti hbs anti body indicate what last antibody to come in blood ye kya indicate karti hai s ki antibody antigen nahi s ki antibody kya indicate karti hai does it indicate resistance to infection does it indicate acute infection does it indicate good prognosis or does it indicate the person is having hepatocellular carcinoma what does it indicate this antibody is indicating what this antibody anti hbs antibody is indicating what please tell me what does it indicate yes so <laughs> nishi you have rushed up i guess so most of the persons here mark good prognosis now it is not related to prognosis have i used the term prognosis for antibody no what i have used it is indicating protection it is indicating vaccination it is indicating immunity immunity it is protective antibody so it is no rehan no nishi the answer is not c the answer is a it is indicating resistance to the further infection once so i am vaccinated i am having this antibody in my blood so i am having good prognosis no prognosis i don't know but i am having resistance for the infection if hepatitis b virus come in my blood i am already having the resistance because i am having antibodies in, in it so antibody indicates resistance it indicates protection it indicates immunity it indicates vaccination it has nothing to do with prognosis don't get confused nishi rehan have you got your your mistake have you got so correct answer here is a not c have you got it both of you have you got it have you got it for epidemiological study which is the marker epidemiology may you want to see acute cases also chronic also all cases so the marker here will be hepatitis s antigen that indicates all infection so correct answer here is c so i am done with hepatitis a and b these were the most difficult to understand c d e you can read by your own i can provide you the notes if you wish so the link is expiring i have to end the lecture here but currently i am having another lecture that is a free class on an academy uh, so i am having parasitology class in the next 5 minutes so i have to end this class right okay so thank you very much for being with me uh so don't forget to write your feedback next class after 5 minutes i am having parasitology class parasitology microbiology class where not on youtube on uh, unacademy learners app so unacademy app i am having this class you can install the app and watch my free class using my code that is suchdev10 so install the app from the play store go to my profile link you will see my live class use the code suchdev10 if, if you are a new user to unlock the class it is a free class i am going to teach you complete matazoa today so thank you very much for the new comers for the new comers who don't know on an academy we have a uh, two type of subscription plus and iconic in plus you will get access to live and recorded lectures of an academy only in iconic along with an academy you will get access to prep letter recorded lectures also so better to go with uh, iconic these are the features once you take the subscription you will be eligible for all these features so what you can do go to your learners app see all the plans available in plus all the plans available in iconic along with their prices compare the prices you will find longer the duration cheaper it is so if you are a first prof second prof student please take the subscription with a longer plan four year three year two year one year if you are a uh, final year or intern take three month or six month subscription as small as so whatever subscription fits best to you according to your uh, 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 at what uh, prof you are studying 
so you can take the subscription it is very beneficial for you because structured courses are available on the platform right so before payment please apply my code suchdev10 if you want to get maximum discount so s a c h d e v suchdev my surname and 10 suchdev10 is the code for getting 10% discount on all these one thank you very much for being with me and i am ending this lesson